Adopting children internationally can be frustrating, expensive, and complicated. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher spent nearly two years investigating the sometimes shady world of overseas adoption. She followed one family struggle to adopt two kids from the Democratic Republic of Congo. And what she found is inspiring but troubling, too. Here's a preview of tomorrow night's report. Ryan, where are we going? Africa. After serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, Army officer Ryan Owen is going on another risky mission, this time with his wife Jerry Lynn and a video camera. You want the camera? Yeah. All right, here you go. With three boys of their own, the Owens are trying to adopt two sisters, Ava and Zoe, from Africa and bring them home to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Here we go. The Owens found the girls online in 2012, offered by Celebrate Children International, or CCI, a small Florida adoption agency run by Sue Hedberg. She is always looking out for the best interest of children. What was the story she told you about where these girls came from? They're just abandoned in a marketplace, that's what we were told. The Owens soon noticed a serious discrepancy between the paperwork and pictures CCI sent them that could threaten the adoptions. You bring this up to this person who's supposed to be representing you. You're met with, stop. But their concerns didn't stop. They learned Ava and Zoe had been shuttled between orphanages, and worse, the girls had developed a potentially deadly foot disease. And they found out Sue Hedberg had organized a police raid to remove the sisters from the orphanage where they were being well cared for after foot surgery. The plan is to go with five police officers and take them, hopefully peacefully. After a standoff, authorities left the girls where they were. Do you think that Sue Hedberg has been negligent? Yes. Absolutely. The Owens would lose faith in Sue Hedberg. Eventually, the Owens cut all ties with Hedberg and CCI. I have to fly out tomorrow. They went to the Congo on their own, only to be told they could not leave with the girls because they didn't have written permission. Is there anything else that a person can do to prove to the Congolese government I care about these kids? Finally, after two weeks of agony, we're going home. <laughs> they were allowed to leave together. And just in time, three months later, Congo suspended all foreign adoptions. <laughs> Ava and Zoe were welcomed to their new home by their new brothers. This is Riley. <laughs> Don't be so shy. And soon found themselves celebrating Christmas as if they had always been together. Last year, the family was reassigned to a base in upstate New York, where the girls have come to love, of all things, skiing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's a big change. Yeah. Hey, Maureen, what happened to Sue Hedberg and her agency? So Hedberg has been denied accreditation in the U.S. She can no longer start any new international adoptions, but she is allowed to finish up what she had started in the last couple of years. Uh, she also has never been charged with the crime, just some of the people she worked with closely in Guatemala. Has the government, Maureen, has the government tightened regulations on overseas adoption agencies in any way? Yes, significantly. It's actually the adoption agencies that are here uh, dealing with the international governments. Uh, the place of origin where the children last year in the summer of 2014, they really uh, clamped down and made an international standard. So now everyone has to adhere across the, really across the world to the same standards. Okay, Maureen, thank you. We were curious about how the girls are doing, but I hear they're skiing, as you said, so I think they're doing okay. Thanks. Yes, they're doing very well. Thank you very much. You can watch Maureen's full report. It's called Perilous Journey as part of a 48 Hours double feature. That's tomorrow night. Begins at a special time, too, 9, 8 central, right here on CBS.